Welcome to this video. Today I want to share with you my three top tips which I believe will be really helpful for you for your rounding. First one, I want to emphasize here that particularly when you are an intern or maybe second year resident, try to go to hospital at least 10 to 15 minutes before your shift time. When you are going at least 10, 15 minutes earlier, you will get more time to organize your work. These few minutes will give you the flexibility to review all the charts and talk to patients. You will be surprised to see the power of those extra 10 to 15 minutes. I'm attending now for last couple of years and every day I go to the hospital, the first person in my team, because I believe that those few minutes, maybe it's 15, 20 minutes, those are really powerful to make me efficient and I can utilize that time to give the delicate patient care. So I will encourage you to go at least few minutes early before starting your shift. Secondly, when you are going to see any patient, um, after you reviewed your chart, reviewed all the labs, make sure to talk to patient's nurse as well. That nurse could be from the overnight or the day shift nurse, because when you are talking with them, maybe the patient expressed something important to them that you do not know. And it will be very difficult for you to give more than 15 to 20 minutes per patient, right? More than that time, it is really difficult. Definitely we give that for our sickest patient, but not for all patients. So maybe within that 20 minutes, we cannot gather all the information. However, if you talk to our nurses colleagues, they can give you a lot of valuable information that can be really important to have a bonding with patient and their families. So talk to your nursing colleagues and build relationship with them and you will be surprised that how valuable their opinion, their experience is patient care. Third thing I want to emphasize here that when you are presenting your case or your patient to your attending physician or to your resident, try to keep it concise and to the point. I know that initially it is difficult. Believe me, it was difficult for me as well. And every day is a learning opportunity for all of us. One thing I want to emphasize here that can help you to keep your case presentation concise is that when you are telling about the labs, tell the significant one or the positive one. If something is remarkable or abnormal, mention that. But rest of them, you can mention that that was unremarkable or non-significant. So as a result, when you are cutting down the test information, you will realize that that will cut down a lot of information and it will sound very concise and clear. So these three tips in summary will be, go a little bit early before starting your shift, particularly when you're intern and earlier part of your residency. Secondly, talk to your nursing colleagues to have a better understanding of your patient need to serve them better. Thirdly, when you are presenting the case, always do not uh, mention all the lab finding. If something is unremarkable, simply say that and mention which are the pertinent positive findings. I hope you will find these tips helpful for your rounding. If you have any questions or if you want me to make a video on any particular topics, please put it in the comment section. I always make sure to read those and reply to those questions. Please subscribe to this channel and that's a easy and free way to support this channel. I will see you in the next video and I wish you the best in your career endeavors. Take care.